Good morning, guys. Uh, today, today's a good day because um, it's track day. I'm actually going to go uh, go ahead and run the car down to the uh, Texas Motorplex, and uh, I'm actually going to run it today. So I'm super excited. Actually, in the process of working on the car right now, getting it ready, um, you can see there she is. And uh, also, I'm in the process of working on my tires, doing a little bit of tire maintenance here. Um, I always check my tires, double check my tire pressures. Um, I check the surfaces. I, I do a lot of little things when I'm getting ready for a race, guys. And uh, anyway, that's what I'm in the process of doing. I'm scraping a little bit of the excess rubber off from the last time uh, the tires were used. And I uh, just making sure it has a nice, clean, smooth surface. And just checking to make sure the tire is completely healthy and nothing's wrong with it. And uh, here shortly, guys, I'm going to send it. ready uh, or at least just about ready let her cool down a little bit um, it does take me about an hour to get here so uh, at any rate guys I'm gonna see um, how the car is gonna perform today I would like to um, hopefully set a new PR but also we're gonna see if there's somebody here maybe I can get a good race with and then maybe try out these new GoPros so uh, anyway I'm super excited obviously been without the car now for about a month and um, I really have not had a chance to see what this car will do um, going full tilt. I still have the interior in it, so it's not set on kill like it was in Houston, but it should still run pretty good today. The DA is fairly low. I don't think it's, it's below zero, but it's still pretty low. So anyway, guys, I'm looking forward to putting it down through there. Um, so let's take a look. Hey guys, here we go. First pass. sticky enough it's frustrating well guys I tried to run um, this truck just seems to have my number for some reason um, got out and uh, just immediately spun had just didn't even come close to hooking up and now it's starting to kind of spritz on us a little bit and um, I'm not gonna put this thousand horsepower monster down through there with it doing this they've actually shut it down temporarily um, so like I said in Houston broken axle very first pass waited a month to get the car back and now here we are spun terribly on my first run the car didn't even come close to hooking and now um i'm done for the day so uh, anyway guys the thing is um i do want to live to fight another day it's just not smart for me to put a car with this much power down through there in anything but ideal conditions nice. so, so it's a different day different place so i got rained out yesterday at the motorplex super frustrating didn't get to make any passes but today, I'm at Extreme Raceway Park, which is the eighth mile track. I'm looking forward to running. There's a lot of really fast cars here, guys. Um, car is, is completely race ready. And we're gonna send it in the eighth, see, um, see how it does. And also, we may get some other footage of some really, really cool cars. So anyway, more stuff to come. guys I just got done making a pass it's a good little pass it wasn't my best pass it's just a little shakedown pass like typically my first pass isn't my best a little 626 I think like a little over 113 miles an hour so not not terrible uh, but not great um, but honestly guys so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually looking over the car I do it after every pass I always check the motor I just make sure everything looks good everything sounds right and then the other thing that I do let me show you guys is I actually get in the car and something that I don't show you guys a lot of is I data log with this here old laptop. That is HP tuners that I use. 
And um, every single pass I log, guys, I look at the misfires, I look at various different variables. I want to know what's happening with the car, if it's running lean, so you can look at air fuel ratio. Um, but anyway, you plug that right up to the port um, underneath the left hand side of the, uh, you know, the, the driver's area over there, the ODB port, and then um, you, you can look at all the data. So once you get the car set up to do it, every single pass I do that, guys, without fail, because I've got to know the car is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Otherwise, we need to um, you know, make changes. We can make changes to the tune, or we could just stop running if we feel like it's something that could potentially be dangerous for the car. So anyway, guys, when you're running power, you got to make sure you do it right. Don't take any shortcuts. Data log your passes if you can do it. Mega block that's uh, 60 over with the 415 stroke crank. Yeah, guys, this is, this is a beautiful car. He ran um, in less than ideal conditions. He was running in the nines yesterday at Ennis, so um, he's got a lot of meat under the under the back end of this thing. But it's not a crazy amount of stuff done. But if you're a Mopar guy, you can't pass this car and, and think anything. But man, that is fantastic. It is a beautiful car, and uh, I just want to uh, congratulate you on the car, you. man. It looks Appreciate fantastic. It. Hey, so. I got one thing to tell everybody, all your fans: Mopar or no car. That's right, Mopar or no car. You got it, buddy. Awesome. Thanks, right. man. I appreciate it. Yeah, you love it. Well, what do you guys want to tell me a little bit about this one? It has a uh, 440 block stroke to a 520 cubic inch, 727 automatic. Five, okay, so it's a 520 cubic right. inch. Okay. Uh, 727 with a trans brake. Okay. Uh, rear ends of Dana, 60 with 456 gears. 456, okay, good, good. And, uh, so it's geared for the eighth mile then? Yeah, yeah. it run quarter, it run quarter yesterday. Well, okay, yesterday. nice, nice. Were you out at Ennis yesterday as well? Yeah, this? he was. Yeah, okay. He drove the, okay. this car Got here. this one as well. Okay. I thought I saw both yeah. cars. So, yeah, no, that's that's really cool, man. These these Mopars are just so cool. They're so distinctive looking. Yeah. They're very, very cool. So, anyway, man, that's a really neat little setup. So, what is uh, what is your, your best eighth mile time in this car? Six. 630, I believe. 630, something yeah. like that. 630, that's long. Man, that is rolling. That's, yeah, it's, that it's is no joke. Really good. Yeah, that's, yeah. A nice, that's a nice clip for, uh, yeah. for this car. We've been doing a lot of changing and tuning and it just has got, got we're, slower. We're going backwards instead of forward. <laughs> I don't understand. It, it happens, man. It happens to the best of us. So. Uh, you know, it, it ran hard, leave it alone. And yep, I, I no, kept jacking with it. And that's what we do, man. It's like, it, you know, that's what makes Never us hard, guys. Yeah. When we get it really good, we got to screw it up. <laughs> exactly right. Go well guys, there it is. There's that uh, awesome looking Cuda. Beautiful car. There's excessive. So we're actually going to race these two cars. It's going to be old school versus new school. And uh, we'll see who comes out on top. It should be a lot of fun.
of me. I spun about 60 feet out. Oh no. That was so good. That was a good race. <clears throat> All right, so, so you got me. Awesome job, buddy. Well done. All right. So man. this guy has a really fast car. Um, he, uh, he, he, I mean, I was coming on that at the end, but boy, he was out on me. I, I spun a little bit at the 60, and he went bloop right by me. So that was fun. I'll tell you what, if it was a quarter mile, you would have had. Oh me. well, but it, you know what? It wasn't. So. We only run an eight mile tonight. <laughs> That's right. Hey, That's thank right. you. I appreciate so, the opportunity. So all it's the great. credit in the world, guys. Uh, fantastic looking vehicle. Uh, you see him out at the track. Make sure you say hi to him, man. This is a beautiful car. It runs. It's a fast car. Pulled the wheels up and everything. And uh, guys, it was a lot of fun doing business out here with these guys. Good group of guys, Mopar, no car. That's Anything it. else to say? No, I had a great time. And uh, uh, why don't you check this guy out on YouTube? Watch him, Racer X. That's right. Go get him. Awesome. Tell him about awesome. your wife's channel, too. All right, oh, yes, hey, yes. let's plug on uh, Chelsea Lynn. Yep. You know her as Tammy, and you can call me Daryl. <laughs> He's got a, his wife's got a big YouTube channel, so make sure you guys check that out. Awesome, man. Appreciate All right, it, thank you so Good much. Stuff, man. Yeah, great awesome. Time. Ready to make another pass here, and I've got the ch uh, killer chiller running like full steam. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I think I have um, icicles growing in my nose because um, it's way colder in the car than it is outside of the car. And it's like 49 degrees outside. Um, it's like legitimately cold in here. So it's doing its job. Look, 62 degrees on the um, icy coolant temp. That's fantastic. I'm freezing my gonads off. guys guess what we're gonna get a rematch with Dom let's hope we get him this time he beat me last time should be fun versus Dom that was good I actually got him this time I'm super stoked about it um, that was a pretty good little pass out of the car that was a 621 and a 11387 and a 14160 foot that is a little more like it so I'm super pleased with that guys and uh, it's fun to run Dom again glad I got a little revenge on him um, this car is really fast and uh, anyway we're a really even matchup guys so we're one and one 